First, a deadly encounter between a businessman and an intruder leading to a homicide investigation by the Sacramento Sheriff's Office. Good evening, thanks for joining us for the CBS 13 News at 10. I'm Steve Large. That property manager fired a fatal shot at an alleged intruder while his grandchildren were with him. Your reporter covering Sacramento County, Tori Apodaca, spoke with that man about how it all happened. Tori. Steve, that 70 year old property manager says that he pulled the trigger to protect his family. No one is in custody right now for that deadly shooting. But the sheriff's office here, believing that that property manager acted within the law at this point in the investigation. Every time I think about it, it makes it really bothers me. At the time, I didn't think about anything but saving my children's lives. It was a split second decision he says he made to defend his family. When he kicked the door and he came at me. Robert, who didn't want to give his last name, says he shot and killed an intruder who broke into his Rancho Cordova motorcycle parts shop in the middle of the night. He says he also lives in a room behind the shop. If he would have ran away, I wouldn't have had to shoot nobody. I'd live with the broken windows and broken doors, but he continued to go at me. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office is investigating. Victims are tired of being victims. Sheriff spokesperson Sergeant Amar Gandhi says the suspect broke into the front part of the shop and then was trying to bust through the door to the living quarters where Robert was sleeping with his 14 year old and four year old grandsons. I thought he had a gun and I wasn't sure. Robert says the suspect had a bright light in one hand and what he later found out was a butane torch in the other. Thank God I had a gun. After Robert fired the gun, the suspect ran off, dropping dead about 30 paces away from the shop in this Chevron parking lot. Any reasonable person in that shop owner's position, in my opinion, likely would have used deadly force because they feared for the safety of themselves and their children. Local attorney Justin Ward unrelated to the case, says Robert's actions will likely be justified because the law doesn't require him to know the intention of the burglar. You're not going to hope that this is a nice burglar and he's just going to say, oh, sorry, I didn't realize you were here. I'm going to leave now. You don't want to have to do this. You know, the rest of my life, I got to live with it. A terrifying encounter leading to this deadly shooting. His first concern was his family. But I also hear my children laughing and they're with me and they're glad they're OK. Now, the sheriff's office could not confirm if that suspect had any weapons on him. He has not been identified yet. Very scary situation. All right, Tori Abadaka live in Sacramento for us tonight. Thanks, Tori.